አንድ ባየ ከኔ ሞ ነው ዘ አኖ ቦሲን ከታ ዳሎሊን ነው ሞች ነገ ኩንስ ወነሰላ ነው ቦሲን ከታ ቦ ኦሊያ ታ ቦ ኦሊያ ኬሲን አበነ ማሎ አኒ ቦ ታ ቦ ኦቦስ ኦሊያ ናኒ ቦ ከቦ ሰንዴ ኦፍ ቴንት ሴፕቴምበር 2023 ዳሎሊን ኩንስ ወነ እሰላ አሲን ኮቸር ያዘሉ አስና ዱንዲና ማማ ኡሚ ቦ ኡሚ ፈ ኑን ጋዲ ከቺ ነ ቻዳ አጓቡ ኡናይ ኩዶና ኮያ ድሪሊ ይሰ 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 አዲኮ ሲዲ አይ ጀባ ፕሮሶ ካይጎ ሲ ዩ ፋጅ ፋጅ ማካ ወይቢያ ሙምቦሲን ከታቡ ኦሪ ጌንት ኦፍ ሞፍማ እ ያ ቢፊነ ጂኑ ቦአቦ ዴ ቢአፍላን ፕራይም ሚኒስተር ማዝ ሳይሞን ኤባ ኦን ሂስ ፕሌስ ሌዲስ ኮንሰርኒን ኦጋሲ ፎኩ ኒሩ አኩዋ mana because of can la people no oge oni yege ya bi fun ge se drop on comment you o wole nku ifo ku ga se ni ba kwa is a place believe yo ku ga se bastaba ka the another dimension and game changing to liberate the people of biafra i ge ya bi fe drop on comment ge on the comment section below bastama ki ye the biafra prime minister ku ni ba kwa all right over to you sir o mi hen me i will deal with you people You don't know what you have done to yourself. Freedom fighting is a fight to finish. I have come to end and stop and finish the fight that Ojuku started over 50 years ago. So all of you that you see Simon Ekpa as an obstacle to whatever nonsense you are doing with Nigeria, believe me, I am just knocking at the door. I have not started I told you people that the time is coming when you are going to know who Simon Ekpa is. The time is fast approaching. So if you are not happy with the fact that Simon Ekpa is in charge and the new sheriff in town, bring Mazinam the Kano out to stop me. And if you cannot do that, you will rant and you will keep quiet. You will write to everywhere you want in this life. You will keep quiet. Ihe no ni me karege. Ihe no marakan si kwado. I warned you people from the beginning. This Mazinam the Kanyu kidnap will be the worst mistake Nigeria has ever made. And I warned in the beginning that we are going to make sure that the kidnapping of Mazinam the Kanyu is very costly and very expensive. My people of Biafra, I am telling you, we are now over 15 billion dollar loss to Nigeria and we are counting. <laughs> we are counting 15 billion lost to the kidnap of Mazinam the Kanyu and we are still counting it. By the time we get to September it will get to 20 billion. I am talking about 20 billion dollars. That is the estimated loss to the kidnap of Mazinam Dikan. Now tell me. Not only that too, we are crashing the foundation of Nigeria. And God have used you to kidnap Mazinam Dikan so that you are going to pave way for the quicker action for Biafra liberation and it is happening. And so Biafra people those who are still contemplating on what Simon Ekpa is doing please do not listen to criminals who collected money to sell Mazinam the Kanu and those telling you Simon Ekpa should stop using Mazinam the Kanu's name I want to tell you one thing today I've been addressing this on Twitter during the time I was having meeting with Mazinam the Kanu none of these people were part of the meeting none of them Mazinam the Kanu never brought anybody to me. Mazinam the Kanu never introduced anybody in Biafra struggle to me. If anybody has ever participated in the meeting between me and Mazinam the Kanu, the person should come forward and I take his word. I am working and executing the contract and agreement, verbal agreement I have with Mazinam the Kanu. Only between me and him. Nobody else was part of it. and i'm going to fulfill this particular agreement to the best interest of myself the best interest of biafra the best interest of our future and the best interest of our nation it is not attached to mazinam the kanu it is attached to the gods of our land and to those who have sacrificed everything in in struggle for biafra so oh. this particular agreement nobody born of woman will come and be in between it So I want to make it very clear today that the time I was having meeting with Mazen and the Kanu none of them were part of it. I do not know anybody. I he never introduced anybody to me. I have come to finish where he stopped. The code 
is in my palm. Not in the criminals that we have expelled, not in the governors, not in the senators that we soon begin to receive Edward Kanonu of Internal One. We have started it. If you think you can do what you do to other people, this is the end of the road. So, prayer for our people, tomorrow we are going to have the normal broadcast, and I wish that you are going to enjoy yourself. For the time being, I just come here to give every Biafra a shout out to thank you for your resoluteness and what you have done during the two weeks at home. It was a success. For the very first time in the history of the evil entity called Nigeria, we shake the foundation, we shake the very evil foundation to the maximum and we continue to shake that particular foundation until it is broken finally so i want to use this opportunity to appreciate biafrans for allowing the spirit of biafra to possess them and staying very strong and very resolute irrespective of the fact that they are propagating lies and all, 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 of the, all, whatever they are propagating in order to stop the Biafra movement. Today, the people that were proscribed, I want you to know that IPOB, those people you see today and deceived our people to die many years ago, were proscribed by the Nigeria representative within Biafra territory in the Southeast called Southeast Governors, proscribed IPOB for no good reason. And why they have not been unproscribed, they are now calling us criminals. And those who were part of the proscription are celebrating that they are calling us criminals. As if we are criminals. They celebrate criminals. And I want to ask again, I don't know, which one is better? Is it a proscribed terrorist group or is it a criminal group? We are neither of the two. We are not criminals. We are not terrorists. But they proscribe the IPOB. So you see the people that have not even come out of the proscription are celebrating when they say we are criminals. <laughs> and they say we are not member of IPOB. We are the government of Biafra in exile. Officially. Legitimate official government in exile. And that is the supreme now. If you don't like it, Bring Mazin Amdikano. If you don't like the fact that Biafra Republic government in exile is now supreme. And I want everyone to understand that very soon we will stop using IPOB. Very, very soon we are going to stop using IPOB. Because IPOB name has been adulterated by evil people. We are going to stop using the name. And if they are not happy with that, they can release Mazin Amdikano to put things in order. Every strategy we are going to use to show Nigeria that they have fired the wrong shot, we are going to do it. So, Biafra people, get ready. When they too do too much, when they overdo, we change it for them. We are going to stop using IPOB in due time. And the only legitimate name will be the Biafra government in exile. And under that government in exile, Mazinam Dikano will be released. And if they are not going to be happy with that, they should release him to come and put back IPOB where it, where it, where it is. You know, I want everybody to understand that the war we are fighting now is not just the war of gun and bullet. It is also war of brain. War of Awuche. And we are going to be giving them back to back. We are the one leading this movement. And we know when to fire that shot. We never miss target. So when they do too much, we will change the name completely. And the government in exile will take full charge. By then, if they do anyhow, we will continue to demand them to release Mazin Amdekano. <laughs> to come and put the things in order. If there's so much love of IPOB that they prescribe. Because now they are dragging who is IPOB, who is not IPOB. All of a sudden... All of a sudden, Nigeria government is now telling you Simon Ekba is not a member of IPOB. All of a sudden, Nigeria newspaper is now carrying the who is a member and who is not a member of IPOB. They are now dragging who is a member. And this is supposed to be a proscribed organization, a proscribed group. 
all of a sudden they are embracing them so we are going to change and you know we'll just follow me and know when the time will come to change the name and we are going to stop mentioning it let them enjoy the ipob they prescribed the biafra government has come to stay we are now government to government not organization so i want you to understand they never expected what is happening now to happen everybody is crying and i want you to understand that the ignorant in the life of some of them are too much the ignorance is very is you know, smelly and what we know they don't know it what we know they don't know it i want to use this opportunity to send a message to somebody that i didn't want to you know even respond to but because if you allow ignorance to continue they will think that they know something I want to send a message to somebody that is probably going to shock Biafran's people today. Master Prophet in Germany. Master Prophet. Master Prophet, you do not know anything about Biafra. You do struggle. You do not know anything about freedom fighting. Freedom fighting is beyond coming to social media to make speeches and speakable language. Freedom fighting requires people with high intellect that their brains are hot and i happen to be one of them everything i'm doing today have its purpose and have a reason why i'm doing it whatever decision i have taken today is one for the best interest of biafra two is the promise i have given to mazin Amdikano. you do not want to know what i'm doing stop attacking and chasing shadow it's never going to lead you anywhere only if you people know the damage you are doing to mazin Amdikano. You will be ashamed. There are informations that is available to me which none of you know. Of course, you know some of the people you are trying to defend know it because they are part of the evil plan against Mazin Amdikano. One is that the code I have, you don't have it. It is the same you, Master Prophet, that said, if Mazin Amdikano have given that message to you from Samanekwa to Brokas on Radio Biafra, you will never deliver the message. So if I had been, if you have succeeded in killing Simon Ekpa, the time you were making all your concussion and all that, are you going to be proud to advise Simon Ekpa today? No. What you don't know is that I know what I'm doing. And consistency, truth, genuity is the key. If you had succeeded in eliminating Simon Ekpa, the time you were tying baby and doing all those nonsense on social media, you will not have Simon Ekpa today to advise. But today, because I know what I was doing and you didn't know what you were doing, I was able to defeat the, the criminals and the enemies of Mazin Amdekano and your charm and your juju did not work on me. If he, had, he has worked on me, you will not see me today to advise Simon Ekpa. But today, you were able to see me to advise me because I was doing the right thing and you were just wallowing and living in ignorance that are caught up with you and your families. So, what you don't know is bigger than you. If you have followed me from the one, I have never deviated from this struggle. And if, like I said, if you have succeeded with the time you were attacking me, do you know those not on social media, are you going to still have Simon Epa today to advise? No. You will not have me to advise. And the way I was right, then, when you were doing all those things and I continue to do what I'm doing, is the same way I'm right at the end of the day with all this nonsense you are spewing out of your mouth. So I want you to just pipe low because if you know what I know by now, you will be slapping Kano Takano. If you know what I know by now, you will be slapping Aloy Ejimako. You don't know what I know. You don't know. And I don't want to share many things on social media. There are some things I share on social media. There are some things I don't share on social media. I'm not saying you should believe me. I'm not saying you should believe me. But there is nothing that will change me from the path I have followed. Nothing. Because I have seen all of you are fake and fake people. Even the so-called Aloye Jimako that was, you know, trying to come closer to me, betrayed. Including lying against me. <laughs> you know? So, what I'm trying to say this evening is that you have not seen the best part of me. I am still coming. Mazinam, the Kano order will never be taken from the DSS dungeon. 
And anybody that is not happy with it should go and bring Mazen Amdikano out. You see, whatever I am doing today has nothing to do with Mazen Amdikano. He did not give me the order. And I have made it very clear. We exonerate him from everything we are doing today. That particular thing has been made very clear to the public, including to the Nigerian media. I am fighting on my own, leading the Biafra government in exile, and it has nothing attached to Mazin Amdekano. The only thing we are doing is that Mazin Amdekano remained the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. And by the virtue of the recognition given to me by him, I am standing here to fight for his release. And we do everything within our power, everything within and without, to make sure we put Nigeria government in a very tight corner and they will not have any other option than to release him. Either by bail or whatever condition they want to give but they want to see him out of the dungeon you people cannot be enjoying your life with your family amazinam the canoe is wallowing in dss dungeon and they will come to you to say simon Ekpa is the reason why amazinam the canoe is not released how is simon Ekpa is the reason if they are telling you the truth that what i'm doing should be the reason they should release amazinam the canoe to come and stop me right but they will not tell you that. They will tell you some, how. what is the connection between me and Mazin Amdekano in what we are doing. When I have said it very clear, we are not going to take order from him. Which means, he is not the one giving the order. So why should you continue to attach Simon Ekpa to Mazin Amdekano? We have made it very clear. If you so much love Mazin Amdekano, release him. Let him come and stop me. As simple as that. But you don't want to do that. We are going to change it for you. We change everything for you. And it is going to work by force by fire i want to thank you all this broadcast is going to end here i want this particular broadcast to go to every cranny of biafra land those people who bring the uh, the terrorist in uniform to keep biafra people it is time the time is up we are coming our defense have started and it is going to be in tana eduakanono have started when it comes to you na nuko ko so bata kuro na akwa eh ken ki wele ki kuni ya botra maka ya bo em ye the biafran prime minister na ebu mazi simon epa oku ya diko so wele ken ki wele ki ku bata maka ya bi fe ka bakwa ro ke drop ora ya on the commission below um thank you once again kun si wene so elai asa no no si me again si ko ro wan ne ne fai de me ako dem na man ken di bo aka moro wen ken di bo i na mpa bo edika uh, in our Anya, as like no 2023 presidency, this was spoken. Um, let me say 2017 to 18, no Igbo presidency. To prove you the light now that now Mazenan Khan is 100% right, also they can never give you that Igbo presidency, it's not possible. And don't get any female, no, I could be a patago, a bident movement. How far to align with you, Mazenan Khan, they can never give you that Igbo presidency. It's not possible. So, okay, go man, ask guy na ba. So, mano gena dry na unaka na na because iman jo iman iman kamo guno kamo bo bo fuki ye medidi ki ine ko hazai kaicha au unaka ya na obule zoku ni bo. So, daluni ne kunu siwe ne sora ni ro akoni ya ne me. As na chuko kabi magi na yudo ni ne. Obo sinketa bolia. Mano ya kudona ko ya dere. Isa, isa, isa. All right, thank you once again for joining us today. At Eastern News 24, everybody can still tell you the news here. Okay, but that don't know who name one can mention. Umibo.